My name is Mahela Ray, and I'm the Executive Director of Alignment Week's Give Guide. Give Guide is a citywide fundraising campaign. Um, it's Portland's largest grassroots fundraising campaign, and we focus on getting young Portlanders engaged in giving back to the community. We really try to reach and work with people who are 35 and under and get them thinking about what it means to give back and um, whether that's financially or with time and thinking about what it means to, to do good in the community. I think a lot of folks think that they're throwing away money by donating to nonprofits or for younger folks I think that people feel like they can't make an impact just by giving $10. I think most people feel like they have to make a $100 or $200 donation to make a difference. But the reality is that $10 goes a long way for a cause that you care about. The, the median donation size for GiveGuide donors is $50, which means that when you're raising $4 million, over the course of two months that there are a lot of $10 and $20 and $30 donations that end up coming in, right? Uh, and I think that that speaks volumes to the altruistic nature of Portlanders because I think that if you can't give a lot but you're still willing to give that extra $10 that you have around, like, you care. You know, all that it takes is giving up a latte or you know, maybe not watching Netflix for the month of December so that you can give to a cause that you really care about. Um, I think that nonprofits fill a, an overlooked but necessary role in society. I mean, in many ways, nonprofits are innovators, right? Because they see a problem and instead of sidestepping it like most of us in society do, they step up to the plate and take the challenge on like head first. They are, they, they dive in to really trying to figure out how to solve an issue. And I mean, for that reason, I think that like nonprofits are the social innovators of our time, right? So when you are investing in, in a nonprofit, when you're giving $10 or $20 or $50, to a local nonprofit here in Portland, what you're doing is helping to fill in the gaps, the things that are missing that our local government can't actually um, address or take care of. And you're helping to make sure that we have a healthy, thriving, and functioning society here in Portland. Through GiveGuide, I got to, you know, obviously myself learn about a lot of the nonprofits that we help. Um, including Trillium Family Services, where I also work now half-time. And so the work that I think really inspires me currently is just the, the work that the therapists um, and the supervisors there do for families and kids and just being able to see the nonprofit landscape in a, you know, from a bird's eye view, from, you know, at GiveGuide, but then also be able being able to see it, you know, in a granular way at Trillium Family Services and at the Dougie Center, where I also volunteer now, has really um, been inspiring and kind of gives the whole development side of the nonprofit world a whole new meaning that I didn't really have when I first started working. A huge change from last year to this year has been the magazine, just in terms of um, the scope of its of the of the kind of stories and perspectives that are in it and the diversity of perspectives. That shift has been huge. Um, Mahela has done a lot of DEI work and that's really shown in everything we've done from the selection process through the production of the magazine, through you know the events, the three events that we're putting on this fall. Um, and it's just felt this year a, a lot more like um, a representative voice of the community rather than like an editorial um, product of a company. We've done our best 
to build equity into the selection process by, um, I mean, we completely revamped the selection process. Myself and Ben only facilitate the selection process so that there's no conflict of interest there. And what we do is we have between um, 10 and 12 community members who each um, either come from or work directly with uh, marginalized uh, populations within the city. And so the idea is that these individuals are bringing their knowledge and understanding of the needs of those communities to the table and sort of using that as a lens through which they, they are selecting the nonprofits. You can see that it has um, helped and affected Give Guide simply by looking at the types of nonprofits that are involved. Like there are a lot more organizations that are really addressing um, social justice and environmental justice needs than there have been really um, over most of the, the history of Give Guide. So it's really cool to see how Give Guide is growing and uh, adapting as a result of that. And um, yeah, I'm excited to see what the next couple of years look like with that that process.